It's the one thing that we all have, the mind, right? But it's the one thing that we don't have a manual for. We buy a blender, we get a manual. Our iPhone comes with a manual. We get a car and it has a manual. Nobody teaches you how to use the mind. There's no manual for the mind. So this, I think, is one of the most essential things in making progress in our life, is really understanding how our mind works. It's the one thing that we have to live with 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have no choice. Imagine if you were, if most of you were slept eight hours a day, which most of you don't. Uh, you slept and you were awake 16 hours a day. In the 16 hours you practice your awareness just randomly moving from one thing to another, to another, to another, all day practice being distracted. What would you be good at after six months? You did the 16 hours a day, you just allow your awareness to jump from one thing to another to another. I'll tweet right now, I'll switch to text messaging, then I'll go to email, oh my phone's ringing, so I'll answer the phone. And then somebody's speaking to me, so I'll have two conversations at one time. And I'll just do this, 16 hours a day, seven days a week. So you get at being good at distracted. After one year, you're an expert at being distracted. After a year and a half, they'll invite you to give keynote talks on being distracted. <laughs> you're so good, you practice 16 hours a day. So the same works for the opposite. If you practice being concentrated 16 hours a day, what would you become good at? You become good at concentrating. And all it takes is, being, is practice by just doing one thing at a time, keeping your awareness on one thing at a time. And you integrate this into everything that you do in your life. So the best way to do it is pick a few opportunities in your everyday life. For example, we all speak with people. When I speak with somebody, I give them my undivided attention. I keep my awareness on them, and the conversation is really brief. Why? Because we're concentrated. We're not being distracted. A 10-minute conversation normally just takes three minutes because you're just so focused. I define concentration as the ability to keep that awareness on one thing for a prolonged period of time. So if I can keep my awareness on Eric and not drift away and think about the wedding, or drift away and think about the vacation or what I'm going to do later, then I'm concentrating on Eric. Every time it drifts away, I bring it back. And the more I practice this, the more I practice concentration. So concentration is the ability to keep your awareness on one thing for a prolonged period of time.